first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody. Um, just say how amazing it was to have such a turnout. It's been great, yeah. I mean, we, we, we put this concept together. I was trying to put it together in my head, actually, when it was, but I believe it was February. I'd done the um, Longridge um, Plan Air event and absolutely loved it. First time I'd ever done anything like that. And um, Heather had always got it in, in her mind of doing something like this because a lot of her artists had done work um, in various competitions. Yeah, it came from the Pinto Pinto Rapido, which I think happens yeah. all over the world. So, yeah. yeah, and then at some point we contacted the council, didn't we? Yeah. And said, we've got this crazy idea to do a painting competition in Paddyham. Um, I'd like to introduce Richard Cross. I met Richard actually at Blackburn College, exhibited in um, BP Portrait Award twice. Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition six times. Uh, Royal Institute of Oil Painters, Discerning Eye at the Mall Galleries. And he's now a fully fledged retired person. <laughs> <laughs> just like to thank uh, Stephen and Heather for organising the event. You know, I thought it was a fantastic initiative. Good for Paddy and for the community, and good for artists as an opportunity for artists to get involved and exhibit the work and network with other artists. And I was sort of honoured and flattered to be asked to be involved to help judge it. So I was glad I came along last Saturday and I tried to get around as many people as I could to sort of see what people are up to because I think that gives you a bit of a kind of insight into what they're trying to achieve because I think the people that went out their comfort zone and had a go at doing something that they're not really isn't perhaps their main kind of thing you know or something they've not had a lot of experience of before I think they added a, a huge amount to the you know to the exhibition of work and to the whole experience Okay. Well, for second prize, it, I, in the end, I, I couldn't, you know, I decided to split it between two people, and uh, one was uh, Norman Long for his uh, picture of the inside of the barber shop. So I, I was stood outside the barbers thinking, I really want to pay <laughs> and he said, No, what do I do? So, so I went, I went back in. And I said, Do you mind if I do some more drawings? He's like, oh yeah, go and sit down, do some more drawings. So I did some more drawings, and then the other guy got interested. <laughs> the other guy worked for him. And he was like, oh, look, these are great. So eventually I asked him again. I said, can I not come in here? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, it's too busy, it's too busy, it's too busy. I said, I'll be in the corner. He goes, oh, you can go in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to be in that environment, meet people you wouldn't normally meet, and... Uh, it's all due to the organisation. It's absolutely brilliant organisation. Well done. And uh, the other one I picked for sort of second prize was um, Ian Norris for his picture of the grounds of Gawthorpe Hall, the trees and the, you know, the, the gardens around Gawthorpe Hall. I thought it was a fantastic event. Um, I really enjoyed the experience. I, I decided to go to Gawthorpe Hall because I had, uh, years and years ago, I once worked as a building surveyor on the historic fabric of the building. So it, it sort of had sort of a resonance with me. I, I, I thought the uh, event was really well organised and it was a great day. And mm. <laughs> thanks for everybody who came along. <laughs> but I thought there was one that I kept getting drawn back to that I thought worked well both ways that's really interesting as paint. I thought the artists had really engaged with the subject, you know, engaged with Paddy and, and also engaged with the materials that he used to represent the subject. And uh, and that was Stephen Rostrum. <laughs> There's a really good sense of sort of space in it, you know, the difference between the building there and the, and the distant buildings I think works really well. And one of, one of the challenges I think as an artist that you're faced with is kind of making like the blank areas work, you know, and I think the way he's dealt with the surface of the road, you know, he's made even that kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a competition yeah. before, so I'm like, staggered that I've, you know, so I've won it. But I just, um, I just really enjoyed last week, um, and that was my kind of like emphasis. Although I did do a few 
get sketches before. Like, yeah, before. somewhere else. Yeah. Have you decided to change your location? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's all about down there. I like to keep people on the toes. Um, but I just really enjoyed last the experience last week. I mean, as I said, it should have taken me about three hours to do it, but I was talking to too many people. I actually enjoyed that experience of just talking to people because I think that's kind of what it's about, really, this whole thing. People that maybe will not look at art normally, you know, it's a thing that we do all the time and we think about, you know, non-stop. And I think it's just great doing something, standing on the street and talking to some someone that might not even go in an art gallery. So, yeah, I just think it's a really fab idea. Thank you. Know. you. The winner of this year's People's Choice Award is Natasha Butterworth. Every painting in the exhibition has made a contribution to making it the success that it is, you know, and there's some fantastic qualities in paintings that, you know, unfortunately there's only a couple of prizes, but, uh, you know, in the end you, you've, you've got to pick one. Lots of lots and lots of good things in the ones that didn't win, you know, and I'd just like to congratulate everyone.